hi i'm liv and you can definitely hear my candle in the background i'm so sorry about that <laughs> cutting like woodwick candle i'm gonna blow it out for a minute and then i'll relight it i am doing a video that i didn't actually plan to do one of my subscribers i don't actually know their name oh <laughs> i've got my ipad plugged in then just nearly <laughs> yanked it out of the wall let me find out who it was somebody left a comment on my video and she always i think it's a girl she's called poppy morale poppy morale i think it's a girl so if you're, if you're not a girl really sorry but i'm pretty sure that this is a girl so poppy if you are watching which i know you are you left a comment on one of my videos recently saying that you'd like me to do a vlog of the entire natural series and i have the whole series and i've really needed a reason to read this series because i know it's good and i know people like it not loads of people talk about i needed something to push me into giving it a go now i have the entire series and i've never read any of it before and i know nothing about it apart from that it's like fbi cases and that's in this video i thought we could read the entire natural series yep i'm doing a chestnut springs 2.0 i've actually read one chapter so far my books come with like eight like something's happened to this page look at it it's like bigger than the whole book but it was like that inside. I was like, oh, it's just folded. And I opened it up and I was like, okay. I am one chapter in. So this book is by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which I love her books. I think they are so quick to read. They are so snappy, so quick, so fast paced. The writing is always really big as well. Like, there's not tiny writing, like, look, it's pretty decent sized writing. So I feel like I'm gonna get through this book quite quickly. I'm already interested. So right now we started off with our main character who's called Cassie. She's naturally good at reading people, has this like ability to guess pretty much like what people are gonna do based on how they look, the movements they make the way that they just talk to people, everything about them she can pick up things from because her mother taught her that. She is a waitress and she has just been given a client card by somebody, basically as, as like a recruitment card to recruit her into this like FBI sort of world. I am 14 pages in, which I, it, I honestly, it felt like three pages. Like I'm flying through this book so far. Tonight I'd love to get to page 50 would be great. We will see. I didn't know if this was going to be a book <laughs> in which, don't laugh at me, the characters um, had like superpowers or something. So that's why I was like a bit not sure, but it seems as though these characters have like skills, like specific skill set. I am interested. I said that I was gonna get to page 50 last night. I completely went over that. <laughs> and then I read half the bloody book in <laughs> one night. Like in the space of like two hours, I read half the book. How crazy is that? That is how captivating Jennifer Lynn Barnes writing is. It's so fast paced, so quick, short-ish chapters, like four or five pages each a chapter. It's just so quick and you just feel like, oh, just another chapter, oh, another chapter. Let's just keep going. And then I got to page 161. 161, that's over 50% of the book. I am really enjoying it. Right now, I feel like I've really got to know the characters. It's very much reminding me of the inheritance games, like the format of it all, which I am enjoying. I think that right now my favorite character has got to be low-key Leah. I, I kind of really like her. I think there's more to her than we know. Bitchiness and snarkiness is definitely the hide stuff. I don't really think that it's like her. I think she's gone through stuff. Kind of found out that um, these kids don't really do the cases. They're just kind of training them for something. And it's like, well, what is the training for? The kids think one thing and the FBI is telling them a different thing. So I'm not too sure where this book's gonna go, but I'm hoping we're gonna get onto the real cases soon. I, I don't know how I'd feel if it just kept being like this it, i think it would get a little bit stagnant so i hope that we do get onto the real cases soon i think the most interesting person is probably leah i think like i want to see more about her skill set and like more about her i'm gonna read on today i'm gonna see how far i can get i'm not gonna give myself any um like 
aims. I could end up finishing this today. I mean, this book has got a grand total of 308 pages. So it's definitely possible for me to finish this book. I mean, I'm over halfway through in one night. So I might finish it today. I'll see how I'm feeling. It does feel very like fast paced, very quick. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am kicking my legs. I am so in this book. I can't even put it into words. This is amazing. This is so much better than her inheritance games. Oh my God, see, words are just getting mumbled, right? Like, but Ugh. words are just getting fumbled right now because i'm honestly so excited about this book i am at page 267 and i've just been sat here reading i've literally not even left my room today <laughs> oh my god all the stuff's happening like you know when i said like oh i need something to happen we need like something to happen now because at the halfway point and it was getting a little bit stagnant if it was going to continue the way it was but it didn't continue stuff happened things went crazy stakes got higher i was oh my god it's everything that i wanted and more i am so happy and i'm on the edge of my seat i'm kicking my legs because I'm, I'm actually getting the stuff that's happening so what i mean by that is with the inheritance games i'm not gonna lie i'm not the smartest person in the world when it comes to like quizzes and riddles and stuff and a lot of the stuff in the inheritance games series did go over my head and i did feel like wait what whereas in this i am so obsessed with criminal stuff with true crime and stuff so hearing loads of the things that piece together i'm piecing together as it's happening so i just feel like i'm following this so much better it is honestly amazing i am so into this book my i think my appreciation for Sloan has now like risen. I really love Sloan. I think she's such a good character. I think she's so adorable though. <laughs> like I'm imagining her, her description is that she's got these bangs that she's cut herself. And they're obviously way too short. And I'm just imagining what I did to myself when I was in college in the pandemic because we had no like abilities to go to like hairdressers or anything. I cut my own hair. And it, it the description is literally what I look like. Blonde hair that is like cut way up here because she's cut her bangs way too short. That is me that was me in the pandemic i can't put into words how amazing this book is and i'm scared to pick it up i've literally got it face down right now because i'm nervous i was wrong as well though i was like oh it's gonna be four 4.25 this could easily be like a 4.75 truly could easily be higher than a 4.25 <laughs> that i started this book yesterday <laughs> yesterday night at like 8 p.m and i just finished it today at 12 o'clock let's talk about it real quick so i said all the stuff i said before and i still stand by that it was great pacing and plot and all that stuff um there was also which um the thing that reminded me of the inheritance game so much as well which i didn't mention is the fact that there was a love triangle as well between some of the characters and that is so similar to the inheritance games and it's like which one of them is she gonna pick and the two like people who are the love tri in the love triangle are so similar to the people in the love triangle in the inheritance game that the personalities are very similar so that is very interesting and i like it you could say that it's lazy because it's very similar to the other books but i personally think it's great i really like it and I i'm really enjoying it i also felt like the love triangle though as well at the same time it's not like the forefront of the story which it kind of started to be in the inheritance games in this, it's not really the forefront of the story. The forefront is definitely the crime. And it was one of those things that when the plot twist happened, I actually thought back to every other interaction that we'd had with this character. And I was like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. I really enjoyed that. I'd give that a solid 4.5 and i am now really into this series i'm really interested i want to read the blurb of the next one because i'm going to start that today because i'm really really hooked now into this series okay i think this is the next one this is killer instinct yeah 
this on the back so i'm guessing this is the next one so this one's a little bit bigger so it's a little bit thicker it is how many pages is there oh uh, just don't look at the page okay acknowledgements this is 375 pages long so not massively longer it's about 70 pages longer than the natural i'm really excited for this so this one says on the front when a killer plays mind games winning is a matter of life and death i also love the front of this like i don't know why but this one like i don't know the front is really interesting me oh i love the look of this one. Oh my god i can't read the back because it would ruin the first one if you've not read the first one i would not like to ruin that for you oh my god this one sounds really good i'm really excited for this one now okay yeah yeah i'm gonna start this today probably gonna start it in a minute actually because i'm really really into this series and it, it honestly just flows so quickly it feels like i'm watching something and I have started Killer Instinct. In fact, I've not just started it, I'm like so far into this book. I'm actually gonna try and get quite close to the end if I can tonight. I am at page 197, which is like over halfway through this book. I'm really enjoying it. So this one is focused on one of the people in the naturals program so this one is focused on dean and his dad and like family life and him in general the gang are trying to use their abilities and convince the fbi that they can be helpful there are new characters in this book there's one main character really that's like new and it's like the idea of like can we trust them they're all quite defensive because let's be real like they've all got very like very they're very skilled in reading people in different ways and so they don't really trust people easily i mean it's a given if you can really read people from their emotions or read people just really easily and just based off how they're standing i've had loads of runnings with the um, main guy Briggs which we met in the first book and this new person that's come in who had loads of run-ins with them where they've been like you need to stop meddling in this case because this is serious but a crime in which we really don't know who it is where we've got right now we're doing loads of like, investigating and there may be a possibility that we found someone who could be the murderer don't know yet but i'm enjoying it. as of right now i can't believe i'm saying this but i actually enjoyed the first one a little bit more i feel like it was quicker and i was more like gripped and i was like oh my god um but this one i am really enjoying i, I feel like the second half is going to tell me if i am enjoying this more or less than the first one or the same but as of right now i'm enjoying the first one more i think i'm thinking about the second half of the book though <laughs> with how like crazy it all got and i loved that this one that i am really enjoying and i think it's really really good it's really quick easy read once again this one we're definitely seeing a lot more about dean's past and how dark it really is and i mean we didn't hear too much about dean in the first book we didn't really know about his past or anything this time we're finding out loads about him and he has been through a lot we've also found out a bit more about leah which we really didn't know anything about leah but this book we know a lot more a bit on michael but sloan her personality's come through so much in this book and i love her so much in the first book i wasn't too asked about her and she was my least favorite character but in this book my heart goes out to sloan like she's that nerdy kid that's like, obsessed with facts and figures and uh, always growing up people just left her out and didn't really include her in things because they thought she was a bit strange because all she was obsessed with was facts and figures and they couldn't like get their heads around why she would do that and it's just because that's what she finds interesting that's what she can read reading numbers and figures and statistics is like reading words in a book it was really sad to see that and we, we see that how much of a sweet person she really is and actually just struggles with people in general because it's not her language this book it's amazing i'm at page 270 and the plot twists and the way that like things come out that things that you don't expect to happen it's like That this is the prime opportunity to <laughs> talk about my book it is chucking it down cats and dogs and i completely 
forgot to go and pick up my glasses from Sam's on my way home from uni. We've just got to my flat accommodation today, um, my third year, and we have just moved everything in and I'm going back officially on Sunday. So I've got a week left. And then I go back every week home anyway, every weekend. I just thought I'd update you on the book. I finished it on the way to the flat. The rain is so loud. I hope you can hear me still. <laughs> so this is the book. It was so good. So this book was more focused on Dean and more about his life and also a lot more about his past and why he is so closed off and reserved. What exactly has, grow has drawn Leah and Dean to each other so much? Why Leah and Dean trust each other the most out of all the people at the house? A lot of harrowing stuff happened. But I'd also say that I loved seeing the rawness of Dean and how much of a good person he is but he just tries to hide himself because he just doesn't think he's deserving of people and why he thinks in this book we saw a lot more of sloan and exactly how difficult life has been for her as somebody who just sees numbers and everything and like is very much based on the statistics um i felt very bad for her because she obviously doesn't speak the same language as other people because like that is her language her language is numbers and facts and that is her comfort so she's always struggled in life and hearing more about that and it was so sad moments where you see like how lonely she truly is i love the suspense i love the plot the storyline i love the new character i'm not sure what her name was yeah agent sterling um which i found so funny because if you ever watch silence of the lambs the detective in that is called detective starling so this is agent sterling like sterling pound pound coin so that just made me laugh because i was like that sounds familiar and then i realized this is how you know that autumn has started look at the hair i curled this this morning look at it look at the bangs what has happened i've had my hair in a ponytail this is how i look him i've got my candle lit right now by the way so you may be able to hear it it's the woodwick trilogy cafe sweets candle so is a crackle candle. <laughs> On to the next book. So this is all in. This is the third book. And it says on the front, new victims, new betrayals, and new secrets. Um, I think it's a little bit, I don't know if this is like the same size as Killer Instinct, but it's the same size. It's, if <laughs> I don't know if it's the same size or if it's slightly bigger. I'm not too sure. I feel like it's the similar size. I love the sound of this. This one has got me. This one has got me like hooked from the back on it back alone so this one is based in las vegas and there it says there's three three casinos three bodies three days so i'm only gonna tell you the stuff that doesn't ruin the other books so in this one it says how again we're following cassie as always there are bodies that show up in a las vegas I was gonna say casino, but I don't think it is. It just says in Las Vegas. I'm guessing casinos, because it does say three, three casinos, three bodies. Um, so these murdered these murder people keep disappearing and it's in broad daylight they're killed. And um, no one is appearing on the security feeds. And every time someone's being killed, it's different. And it's like, are they linked? Are they not? Like, what is, what is happening? And trying to really uncover how this person or people or whatever are getting away with these things because it's baffling them and they actually have no clue even where to start. It says new victims, which I guessed, and then it also says new betrayals. And I'm like, what? Who can we trust then? That's when this comes in, like who can we trust? I've been sat, it's the next day, I think. I think I filmed this day, I'm not too sure, but I actually might not have. I don't remember what happened yesterday. <laughs> I have been reading this book for a bit. We've got glasses on today because I did my eye test for my diabetes and can't wear contact lenses today. So I've been reading this book at page 145, got a little chunk in and I'm loving it so much. We've got a lot more about Sloan in this book and a bit about Michael, but not loads yet. And it's so good. I mean, I feel like my favorite thing right now about this book is the fact that these guys, um, all five of them are basically in a hotel together so they're all in very much close proximity with each other and the banter and the games they're playing it's just so fun and the camaraderie i'm loving it and i'm finding myself laughing with them like i'm actually getting some of the jokes and things because it's like oh my god yeah because in all the books have said this that and the other and you get like the relationships honestly it's such a good book i am just about 
page 200 and this book is so good <laughs> like i enjoy the other books but this book is like on its own with like how much i'm enjoying it as i said this book is very much based around sloan and we're getting a lot of information on who she is really who her, what her past is and what she's really been through as a kid and still deals with now as a young adult and she still really is a kid she's like 17 and um, they're all the same age but you've definitely seen more of like the family-ness like how much that this naturals program has created this found family for these five kids and how much they really trust each other and rely on each other and how much they really have bonded and it's like they've made their own family which is just so heartwarming and it's really already made this book a 4.5 for me this one is all set in a casino and in like a hotel I like that i think it's really good it's changed up the pacing it's changed up the format we've already been familiar with i would say that sloan and leah are probably my favorite characters in this book which is shocking i know because they're not actually the main characters um like they're not it's not the main character that we actually follow cassie is the character we follow but in this book, Leah, in the whole series, Leah and Sloan are my favourites because Leah is such this catty person who's always got snarky remarks for people and she's always pushing people, like putting them at arm's length. And the reason she does that is because she doesn't like to get too close to people, she's very guarded. But at the same time, if anybody tries to cross her, Dean, Michael, Sloan, or Cassie, she will pull the claws out and go for you like that is her family at the end of the day alone also i think she's so smart but she is so um misunderstood and she really is traumatized from what she went through as a kid and it's clearly shaped her as a person this book is full of like what happens with the nature versus nurture thing so the idea that these kids have been nurtured this way things have happened to them which have led to them basically you know only able to speak this language of either profiling people if you're dean and cassie or being able to detect lies from leah michael being able to read people's emotions sloan with her knowledge about numbers and how smart she is all come up with these coping mechanisms because of the way they have been brought up and how they have been trying to deal with stuff that they had to deal with as they have been raised it's really sad when you think of it that way i have just got to page 301 this book is so good like it's gotten even more complex than it was before when i updated you we're now at a point where there's so many aspects of the second book that are being brought in and aspects from the first book as well that i'm just like how is this all being tied in like it's all being tied in so well so gripped and i want to know what happens so bad i've been reading for a bit now i'm at chapter 44 page 253 i'm gonna turn it over so i don't ruin it for anybody who's actually reading this book this book is so clever i didn't expect it to be as clever as it is and oh my god you know how i was like oh my god it's a 4.5 it could be a 4.75 depending on the ending no 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 no. right now it's a 4.75 instantly like the amount of thought in this book and the way it's linking to stuff in the other books oh i'm just i'm just impressed i'm very impressed and that really happens with <laughs> mysteries and young adult thrillers I'm, I'm usually like okay that was good but this book i'm actually thoroughly impressed it is the next day and i have been reading this book this morning i'm at page 360 i have literally got less than 20 pages left and the amount of stuff that's happened i'm like on the verge of tears i'm <sighs> I'm praying for certain people that things are not going to happen and the way in which everything's come out and the chase of finding the killer I uh, it's perfect like this book could be a five star like I don't think it is going to be a five star compared to other things I've read but definitely a strong 4.75 right now I'm in shock and I don't want to finish it because I'm scared <laughs> but I'm gonna finish it but I'm so I'm emotional. <laughs> I just finished the book. I was planning to go down and eat something first actually, but I just sat here and I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna finish it. That book shocked me. I would have never guessed that ending. So honestly impressed with this book. It was phenomenal. I am gonna give this book a 4.75. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, I am in shock. How good that was. I honestly, that was my favourite book out of all of the um, 
natural series out of all three that I've read so far, best book so far. That one really, really did it for me. As I said, there was a different location and it was so much more high staked. Um, I liked how we got to see all of them use their skills. That was like the best part for me. I also loved how much Judd was involved. This one, Judd was really in this book a lot and he was definitely this father figure. And it clearly meant a lot to him that he was a father figure for somebody after what happened. Honestly, brilliant book, loved it, every minute of it. 4.75, strong 4.75. And I would highly recommend this series, especially this book really amazing i just have no words for it oh i like the back but it literally told you barely anything <laughs> how many pages is this book i wanna i wanna say please say this is acknowledgement so i don't want to be ruin it oh okay it's about the next book there's a novella so this whole chunk here isn't actually the book 12 is this the whole book of 12 in the end? I think there's a whole book at the end of 12. I think that's this. Um, but the book actually finishes here. So this is the second thing. So this book has got a grand total of 373 pages. It's the same as this one, really. Um, but then this end is like a whole different book. So I will read the whole thing as a whole, obviously, because I've got the whole thing. I'm so excited for this one. I'm probably going to start it later today. Going to give myself some time to digest this one, though. I'm really like, appreciate it for what it was. Don't want to rush into anything else. But I'm definitely going to start the next one next. I need to finish it next. I'm going to start the next one one today because I am so so encaptivated by the series yeah I wasn't sure if the novella was like the whole novella or if it was just part of it but it's such a big chunk that I looked it up and it is the entire novella at the end so it's like a separate mini book it's the next day I am so pale today like, look at me I have got all my fake tan off it's a really good book I'm liking that we've basically just completely gone straight after all in it's like there's no like easing into it it's like we've started off strong right into the drama right into the thick of it all and i love that i just feel like it's cutting out all like the boring stuff we're straight into it so this book's gonna be packed with things i'm really really excited um right now i'm just my heart goes out to sloan i love her i think she's such a good character and she is the character that like my heart hurts for but the dynamic with these friends like it's like a family like it's like a found family it's so good, so good. I am at page 183 and I'm really liking this book. The stakes are the highest they've been in the whole series, which I love. It's like the final book. The stakes are so high. It really feels like the finale. Like, I'm really liking it. <laughs> yeah, maybe to the end if I can, try and finish it if possible. I'm not doing anything today, so probably just gonna sit and read for it. Let's, let's update everyone. I. I'm back to tell you I finished Bad Blood. You might think, how? Is this, there's a bookmark in it. So as I did say, don't you remembered, there is a second book in this book. There is the novella of 12. So I did finish Bad Blood. I ended up rating it a 4.75. Really exceeded my expectations. This book, we really honed in a bit more on Leah and what she's been through in life. A lot more into Cassie and her ongoing storyline throughout the series was addressed and that was really the focus point of the story. I loved Agent Sterling, she was one of my favourites. I just didn't think about her, I loved. I loved all the characters in this book really. It seemed like this book was so intense and probably the most high stakes out of all the books in the series. And I really think that's because we knew the characters so well that they didn't have to like spend time easing us into these characters. Really loved the closing to the series, but it was closed in a way that this book series could have another series happen. Like it was, it's not like the end done. Like it, it had a very nice closing, but we definitely could have another series come off from. So we are now onto the book 12, which started here. As you can see, it's got the book 12 here and then our little like um, blurb that would be on the back. So 12 is set five years after the Bad Bud book and it is set, as I said, same place and all the characters are still in it, but Cassie, Leah, Michael, all of them. And they have grown up and we get to see what happened to the Naturals program. And is this all the Naturals program and everything? 
So it's a little spin-off, it's about 200 pages. I am currently at chapter two. Um, it's a little harder putting my progress into Goodreads because I have to count from the first page to see how many pages I am in so far. So so far I'm 12 pages in and I'm liking it, it's good. We've not met any new characters yet. We have got one of the young characters from the Bad Blood book is in this. And also another side character that was in Bad Blood is like now a front character, which I like. I always love when characters that were smaller in the other books like become someone important. I always enjoy that. So I loved all the backstories. I'd say that this book is probably the book I followed the best. I don't know because I know the characters more or anything, but I feel like the way that things were described, it was really like the, the author was leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. And I loved that because I didn't feel thick or anything at any point. I felt like I was really following the story. I also felt as though the storyline made sense. Like sometimes in books I'm like, okay, cool twist, but why? This one, so many things are happening and I was like, oh my God, that's like a reference to the thing that happened at the start of the book. It is the next day and I have started, that's not true. I have finished 12. <laughs> so I've completely finished this book now. And as I said, I've read the novella, which was 12. And I got some opinions. So <laughs> um, I actually wrote my opinions down on my iPad, but over there, I can't just get it. No, I can, because I can't remember much. There's not loads. It's like a little, a little chunk, as you can see. So I did end up giving this book a four. Not a terrible rating at all. Um, so what I've put is that this book was not the best in the series. So I felt like the way that Michael's character was shown in this book didn't feel like Michael. And I know this book is set five years in the future. I don't know, it just felt very non-Michael. This book, um, the characters, some of them were great and some of them it felt like, yes, this is what this character would turn into. Like Leah's character was great. She just still had her snidey remarks and her comments that she made, which were like, oh, but she was grown up now. And so she did have a serious head on with certain things that happened. And um, Cassie felt the same. Dean felt very similar, but he felt like he hadn't grown up. Michael didn't feel like Michael. <laughs> and Sloane was typical Sloane. So Michael in this book, well, Michael in all the books has sort of been this person who can read people emotionally and he can tell people's emotions just by looking at someone's face. And in all the books, he has never prof profiled people out loud actively. He said little snidey comments like, clearly feeling guilty about this one, or clearly can read blah, blah, and blah, and it's like, Oh, how would you get that? But in this one, it felt like, it felt like Michael was a 12 year old, like kind of like bragging that he could tell someone's emotions. It didn't feel like Michael, it just felt, ah, oh, I don't have to explain it. It just did not feel like him. Also felt like the writing was a bit strange. So in this one, Cassie and everybody has grown up. They are more involved in the FBI at this point. And the way that Cassie described something to the parents, I just felt like it was a very, not FBI like at all. Like as an adult, you'd think that they knew these things and these terms considering they've been working with them so long. It was a very unprofessional way to have explained something. So I'm gonna say now, this is a trigger warning of mentioning stuff to do with SH. Um, and I also wanna say this may be a spoiler, but I, it doesn't really spoil anything in the book. So there is a moment where Cass, Cassie, <laughs> Cassie, Cassie, I've been calling her Cassie. There's a chance that she's called Casey. I've just realized that she may be called Casey because that's like the American thing, isn't it? Casey. Casey. I've just been thinking about like skins, you know, like Cassie. I'm gonna keep up on a Cassie. Anyway, Cassie has to talk to some parents about something. And we find out that the girl of these parents, the girl of these parents, the daughter of these parents do SH. And so Cassie, doesn't say this like that. She says, do you know that your daughter cuts? I just felt like that was a really unprofessional way to have said that to a parent. I feel like the words, the actual words for the abbreviated term SH would have been more appropriate. And I just felt like for Cassie being a 23 year old woman, she would know that. I mean, I'm 20 and I know that. You would explain that in a very adult, mature, police-like way. I did say the storyline was pretty good for a novella. Like I did enjoy the storyline. It was very gripping and very engaging. 
wish that we'd seen more of Dean and Cassie. Um, I do think this actually. So I thought that in the series as a whole, the relationship seems like it was flowing in The Naturals and Killer Instinct. And then it felt like it had like a stop after that. So all in Bad Blood just felt like we were at this standstill. Their relationship didn't progress and it didn't, you know, mature into anything else. It just pretty much was at this standstill. And I felt the same in the novella. I felt it strange that it's been five years and Dean and Cassie still haven't changed. Their relationship hasn't changed in any way, shape or form. One may ruin Bad Blood, not ruin Bad Blood, but it's a little spoiler for Bad Blood. So if you've not read it, skip this video. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Just exit out now. I will see you on, I think it's like Sunday, with another video. Um, if you're still here, that means that you have seen the spoiler warning and you are still here. So don't come for me in the comments, but I felt like we saw virtually nothing about Laurel. So if you remember, if you've read Bad Blood, you'll know who Laurel is. Um, I felt like with 12, we saw nothing about Laurel. Um, we saw her at the end and she was just being generic creepy. And it's like, it's five years after this kid has like finally escaped everything and she is having her moment to be a normal kid. It felt like this character was so important in the other book why is she not important now? And wh why wouldn't we want to know more about her? I mean, we were so attached to her in The End of All In and Bad Blood. It just felt like, what is going on? Like, why have we not found out anything? What would I rate the book series as a whole? I would probably rate the whole series a 4.75. Overall, that was the vibe I got. I really enjoyed this series. I was hooked and I enjoyed it so much. It was so good. Um, so that was, that's it. I would highly recommend this series massively. I loved every part of it and I would encourage you to read it too. It is on Kindle Unlimited if you do want to read it there. So go ahead and read it and I will see you guys on Sunday with another video. See you guys soon. Subscribe, like and do all that stuff. We're so close to a thousand subscribers and I will see you guys soon. Comment down below anything you want. Tell me if you've read the series or any emojis, anything. Just comment something. I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.